Have you ever wondered what would happen if your primary occupation outside of school was taken away from you? If you're an athlete, what would you do without your sport? If you're musically gifted, what would you do without the ability to use that gift? Unfortunately, these possibilities are becoming realities nowadays. Students are losing their dreams because extracurriculars are being cut from school budgets. In fact, according to CNBC, it is estimated that up to 27% of schools will be without sports programs completely by 2020. So, why am I screaming numbers in fact that may not mean anything to you? It is solely due to the benefits these programs provide. They provide a place to really stress, build social skills, all while raising grades slightly and teaching numerous character values. Today I'll be informing you on the benefits of these programs, and while I'll be mainly focusing on athletics, hopefully you'll understand the importance of all extracurricular activities after I conclude. To begin, I will be discussing the root of a problem, the relatively high cost of athletic programs in schools. The cost is actually bigger than many people think. And for example, Alcoholink High School is a high school out in California that is similar demographic to HSE. Their budget for their fall sports is over $160,000. Additionally, their total budget for the entire year, year is just short of a half a million dollars. That is a lot of money, and some say that is a prohibitive cost. However, that cost can be offset. Commissions, program support fees, fundraisers, and other income generating activities can all help to offset that cost. Next up, I will be explaining one of the reasons why the benefits of athletics offset the cost I just discussed. First reason is academics. Slightly higher rates have been found to be have been found in students who are in season rather than students who are out of season. For example, in School Counselor, a journal written by S. Allen Silica and Jeffrey P. Court, on a 100 point GPA scale, there was an average increase of half a point from a student who's in season compared to their out of season GPA. In addition, their attendance was slightly better as well. Also, in a paper written by Deborah Anderson, a professor at the University of Arizona, she wrote that involvement in athletics may teach cooperation, teamwork, and leadership skills, and or increase the efficient use of time. All those skills help increase the academic potential of a student. Lastly, from personal experience, students want to compete in their sport. If they do not have the grades, they cannot compete in their sport. Lastly, in addition to the educational benefits of athletics, participants can also build valuable social skills as well. Once again, I'm going to use the statement from Deborah Anderson. Involvement in athletics may teach cooperation, teamwork, and leadership skills, and or increase the efficient use of time. In addition to increasing academic potential, skills like these will help in the future as the world continues to globalize, and people from all corners of the world have to work together to solve problems. Also, in a study conjunctively done by Moorhead State University and Gardner Webb University, it was found that almost a fifth of the population surveyed so the biggest effect in their involvement in athletics was the changes in their social skills. Also, in a personal account for myself, I've gone from a quiet and timid freshman to a loud and outspoken junior <laughs> in my three years in athletics here. By now, I sincerely hope that you've come to know the importance of not only athletics, but all extracurriculars at high school, as they not only positively affect grades, but social skills as well. While they are expensive, the benefits in academics and social skills far outweigh the cost especially when it can be easily offset. In my experience, the studies I referred to today have always been correct. My grades are always better in season. I don't want to face my worst nightmare of waking up at 6 a.m. to go into study tables. Also, the vast majority of my social interaction comes mainly from my sport. With the prohibitive schedule me and my teammates have, it clashes with everybody else's schedule. So our practices are kind of our only source of social interaction throughout the entire week. Many professional athletes have said they owe not only their careers, but their lives to high school sports. Some of these include Brandon Marshall and Derek Rose. So, I call you to action now. I challenge you to support the referendums our school is putting to put to vote. While they will raise your taxes a small amount, this small amount they take from you will snowball and provide a large source of income for the schools. Additionally, I highly encourage you to donate to the Royal Varsity Club and the other extracurricular programs of our school to help support them. For, our, for the sake of our generation and the following generations, do not let, extra, do not let extracurriculars stay in the history. Thank you.